to Ringwood East. Um, it's so lovely to see you all here today um, on this beautiful spring, well, spring day, I suppose. Um, my name is Carol Crawford Kerr, and I'm the President and Minister here at Ringwood East, and I do welcome you all here today. So, so now I'm going to welcome our platform for this afternoon. So I have we have got our demonstrator for this afternoon and this is a lady who is very much loved here at Ringwood and in all the other platforms. She's a beautiful teacher, a wonderful medium and just a beautiful person and soul. Will you please welcome Jackie Staples to us. Surprise! <laughs> and the universe works in mysterious ways. That Maria Lacey, who was our speaker, was it last week? Yeah. Um, just appeared at the door, and she was impressed to come from spirit, by spirit, <laughs> because she didn't do her meditation like usually when she comes in. She does a meditation with that talk, and of course she didn't do that. And so Spirit impressed upon her that perhaps she might like to come today and do some meditation. And I always think that's an awesome idea, so I was like right on that. So Maria's going to do the meditation part of the service today. And Maria, what is it that you're actually going to be doing? Can you explain yeah. it to everyone? Of course, everyone? absolutely. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to be doing is um, is to actually use your own voice. So you're going to be oming, which is a sound of the universe. And I sing in a light language, which is a love language, a language of love and a language of light. It's very healing and it's very uplifting. So what's going to happen is you're going to be doing your alms, which is actually going to open you up and, and just help you harmonize your physical being and spiritual being. And I'm going to sing over the top of that. And we're just going to continue until you feel like you just need to stop and then you're going to stop. And then when you can stop at any time and you're just gonna sit there just breathe and feel the vibration in your bodies and and listen to others if others are still going and then we'll, we'll finish with that. So I trust that you will enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Did, did you want to? <laughs> just give people a bit of an idea. Okay. Sorry. We can do we can change things, can't we? Yeah. 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 Why not? I think that's great. All right. So whenever we do any form of chanting, it's a circulatory chant. So in other words, it's like playing the didgeridoo. Actually, you take a deep breath in. But I want you to flow at your own breath. So do you want to just give that another go? We're just going to do the arms <coughs> and then I'm going to sing over the top to give you an idea. So we'll just start again. Oh.
that. Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> Thank you, Marie. So, not technically the spirit shows philosophy, but we do understand that we are vibration and that we align and lift our energy when we join in in that frequency. So it's a lovely healing way of working. So I'm so glad Maria listened to that inspiration and came to join us. It's an open invitation. Agreed? Agreed. Now I can't forget our music lady, Canada. Please welcome the Welcome to all of you here today. So let me explain to you that spiritualism is a philosophy of love, and this gives a wider understanding of life, both here and in the hereafter. This philosophy embraces the love of God and of spirit and of all of our fellow human beings. Now, each spiritualist is expected to believe only verifiable fact and proof through their own personal experience. Our philosophy is a progressive, free-thinking philosophy, and we encourage questioning and discussion. The common bond among spiritualists is the seven principles of spiritualism and we all do our best to adhere to them as a way of life. The belief of the majority of spiritualists may be summed up in this following seven principles. The creative divine spirit of the universe that we call God. The unity of all created beings. The communion of spirits and ministering guides, the continuous existence of life beyond the veil of death. So we believe in life after death. Communication between incarnate and disincarnate spirits. Now this means communication between the physical world here, us, and of course the spirit world, those who have already gone into the spirit world, they can communicate and do communicate with us. Personal responsibility for all of our actions whilst we are here on this earth. And there is a path of eternal progress that is open to all souls. Spiritualists believe in an interpretation of these principles. We believe that God is imminent spirit and that we can come to consciously realize the inner presence of God within ourselves. We understand that we are all part of the divine spirit and that our spirit, it is divine. And so, as I was asking Maria to come in and to do that practice run, I, what I was actually doing was I was asking her to use her beautiful voice to bring our energies together and to create a space. And while she was doing that, I was asking my guides to please step forward and I was using that energy to help me make that connection to spirit. I don't generally do trance work very often on a platform because it can um, be, well, it can be dangerous, but I want to before I actually invite spirit to see if they will step forward and work with me. I can feel them, they're coming in and I'm feeling them in my stomach <laughs> and so I start to get the energy moving to align with it. But I want to explain what trans is so that everyone understands what the process is. Please make sure your phones are off, please. Um, so we believe that we can, I guess it's more widely known perhaps as channel 
and we believe as a spiritualist philosophy that we have guides, spirit guides. Those guides are spirit who have moved into a higher and more enlightened place of gnosis and knowledge. So they've completed their earth life cycles and part of their growth of their own spiritual development is about them then coming back to connect with those who are still on that journey on the earth plane and working directly through mediumship to bring knowledge, to bring conversation into the earth plane from spirit's side in a direct link. So does that make sense to you? Yeah? So it's nothing to be feared. It's something that we do all the time or to a varying degree. So we can have light inspiration and we can develop a deeper level of that communication. But it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of practice and it takes developing your mediumship over a long period of time so that as you develop your mediumship you can lift your vibration and strengthen your vibration and spirit will come in at some point as we communicate and they will talk directly that's how I work I will begin by what they are saying and giving me a light overshadowment. And then spirit will align with me and start that conversation. So what I will say to you is as spirit come forward to start to speak, the instrument, the person who is developing the mediumship to be a conduit for that communication. Through their perseverance, through their discipline, through that place of communication as a mouthpiece from spirit, they work in development circles, they work in development classes. Week after week, they develop this rapport, we would say, with the spirit realm. And as they develop that rapport with the spirit realm, they manage that higher frequency. That's actually what you are developing when you're in a development circle. You are lifting your energy you are aligning your vibration and frequency to that of those guides and helpers who are working with you through that development of your mediumship. I will say to you, welcome. I am so pleased that you have managed to make it here today for this conversation. I will ask you to allow me to introduce myself to you. My role with this medium is that of guardian spirit. She knows me as Paul. And I lived many lives on the earth plane, which you would say is in your history. But from our side of no time and of no limitation, it is a mere fragment. I have been working with this one in a close contact way for many years. Before that, 
she actually believed that there was another who was her guardian. And she was under this belief for many years. This was given to her so that she would understand that as she develops and as you develop your mediumship, you will be presented with a great many different spirit people, spirit guides, who will join with you and help you to develop until you get to that place where you can openly connect and channel that frequency of a higher guide. You cannot expect to walk through a classroom door or a, a place of, of connection as this place is and open that door and be welcomed with a higher guide. That guide is there. We can assure you of this. But that guide will have connector guides who will step in to vibrationally allow that communication with the person who is developing that mediumship. Your safety, your longevity is of paramount importance to us on the spirit side. Today, as I get the honour of standing before you, and it is an honour when those in the spirit realm can connect and have a conversation with you here on the earth plane as we are always with you as spirit is not separate from your reality it is merely a vibrational distance a step away from third dimension the message we have today is a very simple message. Your world is changing. We celebrate your changing. Your language has changed. Your understanding has grown exponentially on the earth plane. You are working towards enlightenment. It is not enlightenment for other people. It is self-awareness. You are developing consciousness. You are working as a conscious being. It seems high humour that for millennia you have worked and walked this earth and you have done it unconsciously. There have been those souls, spirit, who have come in, teachers, ascended masters, who have given enlightenment and instruction. It has been to the few, but today it touches the many. We are all connected. Whether you are on the earth plane, whether you have a physical form, or you have left the earth plane, 
and you are now in your true essence and form. We are all connected. We are all part of that source power. There is nothing that you cannot tap into. There is nothing you cannot learn to master. But first, you must master yourself. You must develop your self-consciousness, your awareness of true essence and source. You must strengthen that muscle that connects you to that source so that you can become that channel. You do not need to stand on a platform to do this. What you do is you vibrationally align that spirit source that you left behind when you incarnated. You align that source power and you vibrationally share that with every soul that is on this earth at that point who comes to you and who connects with you. There is not a person on this earth that can teach you how to do this. But there are teachers, there are those who have developed a sense of this. And they can work as a guide to unlock that information that lies within you. Orthodox religion has been a place where people have submitted who they are and subjugated their beliefs to the belief of the mass. We now ask you to understand that the new energy and source power that comes in, the new age, you have called it, to coin that phrase, is about self-empowerment. And then you bring that to the world. It is not done for ego. Let us stipulate that clearly, for if the ego takes that information and is immature, it can cause harm. It is about service. It is about service to others. That's why you chose to incarnate. You chose to be born to develop your spirit, to bring that back to your soul, to your group energy, to the consciousness of all humanity. And you do this through the life incarnational process. What an honour. The honour is ours on the spirit side. For we are more real than you. The truth is, this will become that dream. And all that is true, and all that will be carried forward, and all that makes you eternal, will return to its true form. And my goodness, what a form it is. It is magnificent, because you are all part of that divine spirit. So we who have completed the journey that you are undertaking, this is our service.
This is our growth. This is our development. So that we can again move in to that next level of awareness where we do not have to find voice on the earth and speak and channel through, but we become a force of earth and all of the heavens and the divine and the universe. And we are, we have no sense of identity. And this is the journey that we are all on. I, as a guide, if I can call me I, am in service so that I may become that force like the wind on your earth plane. You are in service to those who have not awoken to the power and truth that is universal. And when they do, you are a force to be reckoned with. So when you look at the form you have chosen in the earth, every day in that mirror that you look at who you are, I ask you to look beyond what you identify as you and look into your heart and know thyself. Ask, what motivates me to be the expression in my life that I am? Why do I do what I do? Get to know you. And by getting to know you and your motivations and your agendas and your personality, you begin the journey to develop a stronger, serving, serving the divine and then humanity. We do thank you for allowing us this space to share. This is where I say to you, from spirit, the only energy that flows is love and it is not conditional. Love does not judge, does not complain. Love sees the divine and the truth and it allows growth and forgiveness. Compassion is the language of spirit and it is free, it is abundant and it is given unconditionally. We will take our leave and we will thank you for your patience and kindness. We are humbled before you.
Okay. Yep, I think I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 